I'm going to demonstrate uh, a, what I see as some of the differences between kind of more old school metal and the more modern techniques used. Uh, so I've just invented this hungover, we'll call it the hangover riff, because I just came up with it five minutes ago and I'm still kind of spinning from last night. And uh, so this would be an example of what I would consider like a more of a late 80s Bay Area thrash kind of take on the riff. And then a more contemporary style of doing the same riff would go something like this. So as you can see, they're the same pattern, the same note choices, but just uh, with a different kind of cadence with the right hand and employing a little bit more triplets and faster picking, it kind of it gives it more of a, a deathy kind of more contemporary feel. Part of the thing that I do with my style a lot of times is that I'll slide into a chord like... So that makes the, the guitar chords really growl, like in, for example, uh, Ashes in Your Mouth. Like... And Wake Up Dead, that's the way that goes. And it's, it's too much guesswork, you know? If you know you're fretting down three and you're gonna hammer on a fret forward and these fingers aren't doing anything. changing it up, you know, just doing... Just over and over and just build up, build up, build up as quick as you can. This is a good rhythm exercise because it gets all your fingers working and also gets a gallop pick going, so it's like... Of course, there's so many variations off that too, you know, you can... You can do like a little bit of string skipping stuff too.
then uh, the same thing goes with these five string ones. You just start them off real slow. And bring them up. So it's all, it's all a matter of starting really slow and working your way up. But I'm not too good at them, obviously, because I haven't practiced enough. So practice more than me. Sort of, and slow it is. That's basically... 